Hey everybody, I'm going to show you how to do an overlay of GPS data or speedometer data on your GoPro videos with free software. It's easy to do, uh, just a few steps we'll go through right now. This is an example bicycle race that I uploaded and it's got a GPS overlay of the map, it's got temperature, grade, elevation, speedometer, and cadence. Those are the gauges that I use, but trust me, there are many more gauges available depending on what kind of data input you've got. Uh, for the bicycle, there's power, there's a heart rate monitor, all sorts of other things available, and things available for other uh, modes of transport too, automotive and so on. So if you've got the data to input it, um, then this can put it all together. So you are going to need the Garmin Verb Edit software. This is the latest version as of the filming of this video. It, my understanding is that this is free software. Um, I just simply downloaded and installed it. I believe that you do have to have at least one supported Garmin device that you're using. While this software is for the Garmin Verb video camera, um, I don't use that video camera. I use a GoPro but I do have a Garmin bicycle computer on the bike. Um, so it works fine for that setup. There might be some other setups that work too. You can check it out and give it a try and see if it'll work for yours. After downloading and installing the Verb Edit software, you, when you open it up, you'll get an interface that looks something like this. You simply go to create a video. It's more like a video project and you can name it here Now you actually have to add some GoPro videos into the clip library. So it would connect to the Verb uh, camera or you can import other. And that's exactly what we're doing here. You just find the right video, click open, and that brings it into the clip library. Now to actually make a a usable video for your purposes you have to drag it up here um, and then you can add other things to it so we're gonna go ahead and add GPS but actually before we do that you can see this video is upside down um, not a problem the verb actually has verb edit software actually has some tools built in so there's this little um, editing tool that lets you cut and trim the video and it also has a rotation so I just rotate it 180 degrees and it's good to go. Now we'll go ahead and add the GPS in here. So it'll look for a device if you have it connected. I just copied the files from my Garmin device onto the computer so I can just browse uh, from the folder. So you just select the right file and then you click OK and when it comes in you actually have to click this add GPS button in here after the file comes in and that will add it to the video. It's a little hard to see the video screen up here but it does have some overlay on there already and this is a default overlay that the Verb software puts on there um, and but there are many many choices that you can use to customize that so let me show you um, some of those features there. On this toolbar, you just click this little thing that looks like a speedometer and says overlays. And there's a whole bunch of different templates in here. And there's different types from automotive to aviation, cycling. Um, and these are all just templates. And then you can, you can start with one of those and modify it, which is what I did, and, um, and then save it as a new file. So I did that with mine. So this is one that I've used that's got um, cadence and so on and then I changed the location of the map. I like it in the upper left corner. So that's a template that I use. I'm, it's in there so I can just use it again. Pretty easy. Um, the only other thing I need to do with this before exporting is I want to go ahead and actually trim it and then um, I'm going to add music to it. But let me give you a little bit of a tour around the software before I finish all of this up. So the first toolbar here, uh, the first 
button in the toolbar goes back to the video so if you have more videos in your clip library then you can drag and compile all of those together in one big sort of project and you saw a bit of the editing you can change uh, you know speed and volume you can trim and split the video there's also this um, fade different fade options that you can do uh, you can import music into it you can add text like um, titles and stuff um, and then oh let me show you some of the um, let's go and actually look so under this uh, under the over the overlays so the templates these are template names but also you can when you look at the gauges so they're categorized here so under position you can see okay so there's large gauges medium gauges and small gauges but look at some of these large gauges aren't these cool so you can it, it shows distance power um, elevation temperature there's even a big heart rate heart rate and elevation I mean there's a ton of really cool gauges in here and all you have to do is just drag those um, you can drag it right up to the video and it will add it it's just drag and drop you if you don't want it there anymore then you just drag it off um, so that's position there's distance elevation grade so if you want a bigger uh, display like let's you're climbing some mountains or something you want a really cool display like that easy to do lots of choices here uh, all built in and you just drag and drop bearing coordinates there's even different types of tracks that you can put on there um, as far as motion goes we got speed pace g-force acceleration braking pitch and roll some pretty cool things um, time laps lap times lap count sensors so on mine I've got a cadence sensor and then there's a built-in temperature sensor on the Garmin device um, I don't use a heart rate monitor and I don't have a power meter on this bicycle but for those that do uh, there's plenty of gauges built in and, and those are really cool lots of options what else we have in here oh there's the logo So lots of different uh, features there. There's even some, gra so those were gauges, but there's graphical appearance too. So let's say you wanted the, the power to look like this, then you can do that also. Heart rate, same thing. Speed, power, so there's different displays, not just gauges, you can have some of these other displays too. And uh, you can change some of the, um, some of the other um, colors anyway so just wanted to show you through that that's about all there is to this software there's not much else um, so I'm gonna trim this uh, on pause and then we'll I'll show you how to export it I got it all trimmed out now to add the music just click the music button boom and you choose the mp3 file you want and bring it in when you've got everything the way you want it you just click this export button choose your settings I choose the highest res and you click export and you sit back and wait that's it everybody thanks for watching talk to you next time thumbs up if you found this video helpful appreciate it